Hi friends. Okay, welcome to the second episode of our main stack tax manager application. Okay, so if you haven't watched the first part, kindly watch the first part and don't forget to like and subscribe and also share and give your comment. Okay, so if if you remember this is where we left. That's where we left. So now we are going to set up our React um router DOM. Then we go to and design this interface. So if you see, you see that we have some um validations in here and we are going to use react hook forms so you can just search react hook form i'll try and put a link in the description so react hook form and just click on get started it can be used for react web and react native okay so i mean you can come and search and read more from here okay great so i'll just copy the installation command from here just copy it right and come here and let's install it so i'll create a new terminal and make sure you cd into clients yes into the client folder and just put the command and install okay so now whilst it is installing let us go into our app here before then let's go into the main here great so inside the main here we need to wrap our app with the browser router okay it's done installing so in here let us import we have to import the browser router so import and we are importing from react router dom react router dom good so in here we are importing um, browser router good so we have to wrap our app with it so just say browser browser router oh okay great so browser router and just let your app go inside great okay so now we are done with this part so come here now inside this app let us set up our navigation great so let us set up our navigation so let's change this to main tag right let's change it to main tag okay now we can give some classes classes to this so class name class name we want a width of full and we want a, a minimum height of screen um the bg should be this color i'll just copy the color and bring it here okay will be this color um be this color great Uh, let me also remove this great so inside this we'll have our routes we'll have the various routes okay so let's import them here yeah, so import and they are all coming from they are all coming from react router dom so react router dom great so here we'll need the routes we'll need route so one is plural and the other is singular okay so we need routes we need navigate we need outlet great and also have use location okay so let's move down okay so okay so here we have to get a protected route as well as uh, routes that are not protected so users who are not logged in cannot visit protected routes so elements and we go to we create a layout right you can go to the documentation of um react router dom and read more so we'll create this layout soon Oh, my bad. This ought to be in the app page. App page. Good. It ought to be here. Yeah. Okay. Let's bring this one here. Copy it. My bad. My bad. 
cut this one from here and also bring it here great okay so any page that falls into this route right we'll check from the layout okay so in here we can have different routes right with path mm -hmm. forward slash and we'll say that the element element good the element can be um when we go to forward slash we want to redirect it to a particular path so we want to navigate to then we'll put the link as dashboard great Okay, so make sure you close them well. Great, great. Okay, so whenever we go to forward slash, we want to redirect to dashboard. And um, the dashboard will be on route dashboard. Great, and we'll have the element as dashboard, which is not ready for now. Um, Let's see, oh, okay, it's here, so we can import it. Um, dashboard okay so I want to believe good so just press control then space bar to import it okay so wherever we go to forward slash it will take us to dashboard okay now we'll add the other routes um let's let's add them so I'll just duplicate this one will be task that's for the various task here we import tax. This will also be for um, completed task. Completed task. Okay. Completed task. And we want to add, um, we want to add a status, right? Great. Okay, so this will also go to the same task page. Great, let's see if we have it. Yeah, task. Okay, control, save it. Okay, great. so when you go to complete that, we want to use this same thing, but pass the status. So we can duplicate this for in progress task, right? That, and this can be for um, to do's right to do or to do yeah great another one will be for team that's for our users so here we go to team team it's not coming so i'll just go here and check mm, okay we made it users so users so let's say users great and just press on shift and alt and arrow down to duplicate it okay then the next one will be for trashed trashed okay so we want to get the trash um that one also here okay great it's here trash great and the last one will be the task videos right so we we'll just say task then forward slash the id of the task right and this will go to uh tax details page great so I'll copy this and bring it here paste and import okay so all these routes will be protected routes right and when we come outside this so you see all this force into one block right and outside we'll have another um, one so let me just duplicate one and bring it down here okay great and this will be This will be our login. We'll go to our login page. Great. And, um, okay. Login. And this will be login. OK. 
Okay. Um, something is missing. Okay. Uh, great. So now this will go to our login. Okay. Now we also want to, if you remember, there was also um, this toast notification, right? So we need to add it here. So let's add the toaster from here. And let's make sure it is imported. So I'm going to say import um, toaster toaster from um, good. So now great. So it's here. Now let's give it the rich colors so that we have that kind of colors rich color colors. Okay. So rich colors. Mm -hmm. okay yeah okay so let's format so to format it and remove on use import you can use um shift alt and press o to format it okay uh the dashboard the dashboard dashboard mm. the dashboard read so uh, let me rename it to dot gss and just put this one here Okay, and let's see. Okay, mm. okay, mm. okay. So now let us create the layout, right? Let's create the layout. Okay, so we we'll only use it here. So let's create it here. So function layout. So in here, we'll first check if the user exists, right? Um, let's see the user, it's now for now. Right, good. And we'll also use the um, location hook from React Router DOM use location. Yes, great. So now let us return something. Now, if the user does not exist, Right, if the user does not exist, and if the user exists, also return something. Okay, so if there is no user, right? If the user exists, mean if this is true, means the user exists, and this is false. So if it is false, what are we returning? We just have to navigate the user, navigate. Good. So navigate. Where are we navigating to? We navigate back to the login page login great and we want to add the state to get where the user is coming from so state it to from where are we coming from we're coming from location great and just add the replace set the replace here replace great good to help avoid any possible errors great um Um, why do we have underline here? Navigate. Okay. And if this part, let's return this and see. Okay. I think this fixed the error. Um, oh, there's a typo in the function. Great. Good. So now if the user exists, we come here, right? Now let's provide some classes. Okay, so as you know, we are using Tailwind CSS. So let's provide classes. If you do not understand any of the classes, you can go to the Tailwind CSS website and check from there. Okay, so width of full height of screen. It should be flex. Flex column. Right on MD. It should be flex row. Great. Okay, so inside it, 
we we'll have another div read okay so now this div will have a width of one over four one over five okay so if you hover over it you can see that is 20 percent and i'm using an intellisense right intellisense which is uh, i think tailwind intellisense um let me search it tailwind good this i'm using this um tailwind intellisense sorry okay okay good so we'll also make it screen height of screen and a bg of white right good we want to make it sticky top of zero and it should normally be hidden on small screen but on large screens it should be blocked i mean visible okay so in here we'll have our sidebar sidebar okay so sidebar is not ready so i'll comment it for now read and beneath this div we'll have our mobile mobile sidebar right great okay so i'm using mobile sidebar so that you know that this is for mobile and this is for the normal sidebar okay so mobile sidebar and beneath it again now let us have um one div with class with class of flex um flex one now because the parent is having flex that's why we're making this flex one right we want this to take bigger part of the screen okay so flex one cover the entire and uh, overflow overflow of y should be auto okay great so in here we have our navbar navbar not ready so comment okay and we have one div inside here which will render the outline meaning all the other and now we have the outlet okay so the outlet here uh, let's say we have pattern of four and on 2sl we have pattern uh, pattern x of 10. okay okay so on bigger screens the pattern should be there okay so now that is our outlet so as we go on and we fix all these things we'll uncomment them okay great so now uh, let us go and check if our page is still intact uh okay we still have this here um okay so now let us move uh, straight to the login page right okay let us go to the login page which is this one here okay so login page <laughs> so here here we'll need to import from we we'll need some imports from um, um the react hook form right so let's say import use form use form great which is from react hook form okay great okay so what are the various things we'll need from it now those things we'll need to be equal to use form right great now the things we'll need from it are um we'll need the register right register we'll also need handle submit we'll need um form state um form state great and in the form state we'll have the errors great great job okay so here also let's have a, a dummy user so let's say user is equal to now for now okay so as okay great so if we come here let us use use effect which is coming from uh react right we have a use effect and this use effect 
what we're going to do with this use effect is that uh, remove one of the parentheses. Great. What we're going to do with this use effect is that if the user is logged in, we don't have to grant you access to this page again because there's no need you are logged in. So if the user exists, then we have to use the navigate. So let us create navigate equal to use navigate function, right? Okay, great. So now with this navigate, let's import from React router DOM. So if the use user exists, we need to navigate to dashboard. Dash um dash board okay great okay so now we put the dependency as user so whenever the user changes we will this thing will be fired again or run again okay so now let us uh design our form okay so let me remove this and let's give begin by giving classes so classes right it should be full width and a minimum height of screen or you can also put 100 vh it should be flex items center justify also to center right it should be flex column it should be flex column and on large screen it should be flex row um flex row Okay, let me break it down so you see it and toggle this. Okay, okay. So row and the BG color, I will also bring my BG color. So BG color should be this, right? Great. Okay, so let us continue. Now inside this, we have another div. Let's give some classes. Okay, so also full width, medium. It should be w dash auto. On medium screen, it should be auto. It should be flex. There should be a gap of zero normally, and on medium, the gap should be forty. Flex column. And on MD, flex of row. Hope you know the view by now. Item center and justify also to center. Okay, great. We're making progress. Okay. So if if you check, if you check, you can see that there are two sides, right? So this side is one, and where the form is, is also one. Okay, so that's why we have an I mean flex container, right? Okay, to have um so that we can have two different sizes okay good so inside this inside this we'll have two divs one for the written and the, i mean one for the left and the other for the right okay so let's say flex um classes okay so classes Height full, um, height full, okay, width normally full, and on LG, width of 2 over 3, um, semicolon, okay, good, 2 over 3, it should be flex, flex score, items to center, and justify to also center. Okay, so let's finish this part. Then we come to, so this is right side and this part is left side. Okay, great. So now let's focus on the left and finish it. Okay, so inside it, let's have one div. Classes, great. 
width full medium so max width of LG on two Excel max width of three Excel great flex plus call item center justify center gap five and md gap y of 10. okay and on two excel negative um margin total of 20. great okay so you sometimes you just have to adjust this um, stylings to fit your need okay so now let us have a span tag and in a span tag we will write manage all your task in one place okay so you can write anything you want there okay so um classes so We'll give it flex gap one py one px of three right we we'll give border rounded dash full test dash sm and md test dash base Oh my bad, all of this ought to be small. Great, it should be flex. Gap one. Great, py one, ps of three. Good, should be border. Rounded, dash full. Dash full, great. Great, tests of sm and on md test of base test of base okay so the border should be gray dash 400 let's make it 300 and the test itself should also be gray dash 600 okay so we can check and see we are on this part. Yeah, okay, great. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, so uh, let's go to log, log in. Mm, we're in login, uh, but the page is not showing. Okay, so let's go and check. Okay, login, login. Um, so why it's not working? Okay. Let me see. Dashboard. Um, there must be an issue with our navigation. Okay, so let's go to our console and see if we are getting errors, right? Okay. Mm, I think, I think we have an issue with one import. I think it's this, I think we need to, um, um yes put it inside this like this we need not to import it as default okay and let's go see okay so that error is gone 
Mm. So now, what's next? Good. Good. So now we, we are here. Okay, great. So let's continue. Okay. So now, um, beside this, we can put our paragraph tag. Like, and in a paragraph tag, uh, let's have span that says cloud based. And the next one will say um, tax manager. Tax manager. You can write anything of your choice. Okay. Okay, so let's start this paragraph. Flex. Flex column, gap of eight, anomaly zero, on MD, gap of four, great, test of four, Excel, on MD, test of six, Excel, and on extra large screens, two Excel tax of I mean, test of 7x, great. And we want the font to be black. And test of center, great. Test of center. The test should be blue dash 700. If you have any other color, you can use it, okay. Okay, so we have it this way, All right, great. Okay. Okay. Then beneath it, beneath the span tag, we have a div. And inside that div, we have another div with class name, class name of Circle, rotate in, up, left. Okay, so rotate in, up, left. And we're going to take this also classes as cell. Okay, so if you go to your um, index.css file, I mean, you see all these classes in there, right? Good. So these are the classes. Here, I think they are here. Mm -hmm. Where is the rotate in left? Okay, so this and this is the circle, and this is also the cell. Okay, great. So let's go check it. So now you see this, it's here. Okay, so now let's focus on this part. Um Okay, let me put it side by side. I think that will be better. Okay, great. Okay. So left side is over. Now let's move to the right side. Okay, so here, let's start it. Classes. It should be width full. And on MD, medium screen, the width should be 1 over 3. Right. We want a pattern of 4. On MD, P-1. Flex, flex column. Justify to center and items to center. So inside here, we're going to have a form. Um, we will not need action. What we will need is on submit. Right, so on submit, we'll pass the submit of this um, use form, right, from React Hook form. Then we'll also create our submit, uh, let me call it submit hang handler. A 
for now we just console log submit okay and in this we get uh, data as a as a parameter okay so when we submit we get a data great so when we pass this handle submit then we'll pass our function inside it right i hope you understand so here we'll, we'll call the handle submit right and inside it we'll pass our submit handler okay great and when we use react hook form we don't have to do uh, e.prevent prevent default because it has been handled by this submit hand, hand, uh, handle submit okay so in here um let's give classes okay so we're gonna have form container now this class is from our css we provided right okay it's not from tailwind css okay also we're gonna have a um a width of 400 pixels great it should be flex flex column gap y of eight bg of white bg of white pattern x of 10 and pattern top of 14 pattern bottom of 14 okay okay so we have the shadow here so inside let us have our various inputs so here we have if okay so we have a paragraph tag that says welcome back okay this we're gonna say um test of blue dash 600 test of 3xl font of bold and item on let's see test center great great so beneath it you have um a span that says that keep all your credentials safe okay so it is important to keep all your credentials like passwords uh, api keys keep them safe okay okay great so the test will be in the center the test will be base test size the test will be gray 700 700 okay great um test center mm, let me make this okay great so make it a paragraph tag okay so beneath this div another div down okay so this div is gonna have class class of flex flex column and gap y of five okay so inside we'll have a text um input or text box however you want to call it and this this text uh will take a few properties properties like placeholder great and this will be the placeholder will be uh, let's say your now let's say email at example.com right great we we'll also need the type which will be email we we'll also need the name name will also be email great i uh, will also need a label the label will be email uh, we can add address uh, that will be great email address <clears throat> then we also need some classes from here additional classes 
right? And the additional classes will be with full, um, rounded dash full, great. And we'll pass the register, right? The register to it. So we'll pass the register of the React hook form to it. So it will take the register, we we'll take the name, so we'll register it as email, we'll register that um, input as email, right? And we're going to make it required. Yeah, it's, it's required. So what is required, if you fail to provide it, we'll give you an, a message that email address um, is required. Okay, great. Email address is required. Now beneath this, we'll also provide the error. We'll say error should be equal to if errors, right? If the, the errors dot email exists, right? If the email has an error, then we're going to say errors dot email, right? Dot message. Else nothing. Oh, sorry. Great. So we'll check if the error should be because if the errors exist, right? And there's an email, the email has an error. We will send the message of the error. Right, the message of the email error to it, else it should be nothing. So now let us go and create this test box, right? So that we'll just come and duplicate it. So we go to component, and this is our first component. We're going to create testbox.gss, great RAFCE, great. Okay, so here we will need to import C. Uh, great um, great this utility helps us to combine multiple classes right okay so now here uh, I'm going to remove this first and we're going to wrap the component around a, a react a ref right so see react dot forward ref Right. Okay. So forward ref. Let's take it easy. Okay. So we close this parenthesis first. Right. And inside it, we open another one. Then we can open this to take our objects. Right. Okay. So our distracted object will go in here. Then come behind this. Right. And just put your arrow. Open an object. Great. So in here now we will return the components right great so now let us return a div inside okay so what are the various um props we will destructure if you remember we have types we have type we have placeholder we have label or we have label we have class name coming in um we have um Uh, I think we have register. We have register. We also have a name. And um, uh, what again do we have? Uh, okay, I think we have error. Good, good. Okay. So now after, uh, let me toggle it. This also now behind this the structure, just also put yeah, just put uh, that we also need to have the ref. Okay, great, like this. Okay, it should not be part of this since we are destructuring. Okay, it should be behind like this. Okay, so now this class. Let's give classes for this um, with a full flex flex column and gab of one. Okay, so we'll have the label. Now, first, let us check if the label exists, then we show label. If not, there's no need. If the label exists, then we show label.
okay so here we'll give the html4 attribute and it's for it's going to be for name right it's going to be for the name we'll provide the name that is coming great great so let's give classes let's start later a little so we wanted the test to be slate 800 and that's all okay so now beneath this um let's have another div um okay yeah let's have a div and inside that div let's have an input okay so we'll remove this type right and put the type we are taking here great and the name should be the name we're getting placeholder to be our placeholder okay and the ref to the ref great what again okay um okay we also want to um spread the register great the register function from uh, react who form okay let's also set area um dash invalid invalid good equal to then we'll check error if error exists then we'll say it's true else false great now let's give styles so class name one i'll put this okay then use our clfs great then we begin to combine classes okay so i also put this class name we get in here right okay so this will be our normal class name and this will be the additional one we'll set okay so here we want bg of trans trans transparent great transparent the x should be px of 3 py of 2.5 to excel px of py of 3 great there should be a border border of gray 300 gray 300 let's also check the placeholder placeholder we want placeholder um yeah placeholder i want a test to be um i think it's placeholder this dash 400 okay let's try this and see the test should be green dash um 900 okay 900 also want outline to none good outline of none the test size should be base and focus we want a ring of two and the ring color should be blue dash 300 okay okay so if you check this you see that when you get focus there's a, a line a blue shadow around it okay so that's what we're looking for here okay so um, now beneath this div right we want to have an error right we want to show the error so beneath this div here so we'll check if the error exists then we put a span that's give a size of excel x x and a test color of red and we show the error if it doesn't exist we don't show it okay so now let us go back to our login page and let's import this great and uh, our form okay it's loading it's not showing again what went wrong here okay so let us inspect go to console 
and see our error. Let us reload it again and see. Okay, so we have error that says that uh, ref register is not defined. So register, it's here. Okay. Mm, register here yeah, okay um let's check maybe the typo is coming from here okay so it's register here great and uh great so now we have this form okay so great so now let's continue Okay, so let's remove the S from here. Great, great, great. Okay, okay. So the label, the label is not showing. Uh, maybe we did something wrong. Label. Mm, let me change it and see. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, we should pass the label here. So label, label, oh, great, great, it's here, great, nice. So now we just have to duplicate it, right? So I will just duplicate this for password, and now change placeholder to your password. Great. The type will be password name. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's make name also password. Uh, let me copy it. Register it also here as uh, password. Right. And change this to here as also um password. Okay, great. And let's change this. Now this as password because we've registered it as password okay so now we have these two right we will take email and this will be password okay great now um beneath the password we can have a span tag right if we have a span tag that is for for get password okay okay password right okay let's give some styles the test should be xm test dash three dash 500 when we hover we want to test test of um uh let's make it maybe blue 600 and on hover again we want we want uh hover when you hover want underline okay great let's also change the cursor to pointer great and uh, okay yeah it's coming up fine great okay so inside uh, uh, beneath this then we're gonna have our button right great we're going to have a button. Okay, so the button will also have type. And this will be of type submit. The label will also be submit. And we'll also give class name to width of full, height of 10, BG of blue 700, and test of white. Okay, so this will crash because we don't have the button yet. So I'll come here and say button dot gss r a f c e. Okay. So if you remember, what are the props we're taking? We're taking class 
name we're taking label we're taking tie right and we we'll also take on click event on click event uh, for now let us make it as empty or um, callback rate so that if nothing is provided i mean phone do anything great okay great so mm, let's do the button great so this button um we can even add an icon so that if we have an icon great so if we have an icon we will just render the icon if icon exists then we should icon pretty simple okay here we'll put a span and put the label in great so let's go back and import it so that we'll see the changes okay so it's here great So, so yeah let's give the type the type will be the type we get in right and let's also provide default default of of button great if nothing is provided you know i mean by default we'll take it as a button okay so class name Let's import our good friend. Great. We have our classes. Then also give the extra classes that is coming. Great. It's taking shape already. So here we have px of three, py of two, right? Outline of none. Yeah. And we we'll just want it to be rounded. Great. So that's it. So now we have our login form, and uh, if you check from here, okay, here we're saying um, rounded dash full. I think we can check from here. Okay, okay. Let's also make it rounded dash full from here. Okay. Um, it's not taking effect. Okay, let me see. Maybe let me remove this. Great. Okay. Okay. So now we have finished with this, right? So let's look at it. In full. Okay. So now we have this, right? Um, yeah. So let us try. Great, great. So if you submit, you see now we have this. And if you provide details, right? Any detail you put and you submit, right? You submit, you see that submitted is shown here because we said on click, on click, we just want to say submitted, submit, right? Great. So now it is working. So in yeah, this part, we'll go into direct, I, I don't know, um, let me check. So in the yeah, next part, we'll come to this side, set up our nav, um, nav bar and sidebar. Okay, so stay tuned, don't forget to like and subscribe and also share.